Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another video for you guys. I haven't made like a regular long video in like forever because this one video I was trying to upload, it said it was uploading, but it just didn't upload for some reason. So I had to delete that and then I am filming a different video for you guys today. So today it's gonna be just kind of like updates and you know, show you guys what's going on since you guys haven't, you know, seen a real good update and seen what's going on on my farm in a while. So my auto timing might be off because, yes, I've told you guys that in a few of my last videos. So, and I'm, it might be fixed now. I think I might have got it fixed, but I'm not sure. But we'll have to find out. So if you guys are excited, about today's video give this video a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified in every time that I post a new video so let's go ahead and get into today's video so I was just walking and I seen this really pretty butterfly like that is so gorgeous look how pretty that is I like we rarely see butterflies where we live but this is like really pretty I'm gonna try touching it that butterfly all right so i'm in the donkey pasture and look how cute jimmy's hair is it is so cute um we did it last night but it oh hi joey but it got messed up because like they've been playing and biting and stuff so it's not perfect but joey only let us do like two little rubber bands in his hair oh you're right up in the camera today aren't you so he only didn't we didn't get to do much on him but just look how cute that is like oh in the front of him it's just so cute it looks like a little pigtail sticking up <laughs> ain't that right jimmy so we actually have like three different pasture sections right now we have like an area for the cows and then we have an area for the donkeys and then we have an area for our um one cow that we are like fattening out if you don't know what that means we're gonna like take it into the butcher shop this fall probably and we are gonna have it butchered and then we'll have some meat because we do that every year with cows we raise one of our cows that we have um we'll just raise it and then we'll take it into the butchers so but we only do that with like one sometimes two but He's just like sticking his nose through the fence, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Jimmy is like probably my friendliest donkey. Like Joey will usually try to like nibble your hand and stuff, and I just don't like that. So, but because it like hurts if you ever nibbles on your hand. But he don't ever try to do that. He just wants to be pet and loved. He always wants to be loved, don't you? So we don't we don't ride our donkeys. They're just like pets because they're obviously too small they're like burros and not really donkeys they're like burros like that's like a smaller kind of donkey so yeah and he is we found out that he is nine years old and joey is three years old or four wait, did I say, was it three or four it was four yeah he's four years old so jimmy three and then joey's over there somewhere i don't know he's eating i think but he is four and i just love my donkeys they're so cute and so like donkeys could actually be used for livestock guardian animals too but i don't know i haven't really seen them do anything that'd be like livestock guardian type of uh, livestock guardian type of thing but we'll see in the future like look how dusty they are I don't know if you can see it, but don't worry, I'm patting him very lightly, but dust is just flying off of him. He's dirty. I'm going to have to brush him soon. They just love being pet. Well, there you are, Joey. So, as you can see, yeah, he didn't let us do his hair that good. See you later. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. And guys, like, thank you so much for 93 subscribers. That I really appreciate it. And um, I only need like seven more now to get to 100. So that's really exciting. And also guys, Magsy is going to be one next month. 
one, she is like growing up way too fast. And Reggie will be two the month after that. And then the month after Reggie is two, Goose will be two. So they are all having birthdays coming up really quickly. And um, so we might, we're probably gonna get another dog. So you'll see. A dog, a cat, or turkeys. We're still actually deciding which one that we're gonna do. So I don't know which one we're gonna do yet, but you won't see that until we get it. So we actually, I've like I videoed it on like the whole entire time we've had Magsy. I actually had my channel before we had Magsy. So we've basically, you guys have watched how we've done with her. I've taught her how to sit and we're still working on laying down. It's not, she's pretty rough on that one, but Reggie knows how to sit. Goose, he's, he's not having it. He don't want to sit down or do anything. He just wants to eat, hunt, and sleep and be petted. He likes being petted. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you another thing now. So here's Delilah, and then here's Molly, and then Bonanza's coming. Molly is the only one cow over here that'll let me pet her, but Dixie and Milky Way, ew. Let me pet him. Oh no, she got shocked. Poor thing. She was trying to let me pet her, but she got shocked by our electric fence that we have there. That stuff hurts really bad. I hate getting shocked by it. So, but Dixie and Milky Way are, um, they are getting bred right now still. So they'll, but they'll be home soon with the calves, Dottie and Dusk. There's Bonanza. He's kind of beginning to be crazy. He will ram the fence and yeah, he's crazy, so I'm staying away from him because he's scary. So the cows have this like big old pasture. I'm not really sure how much acres it is actually, but yeah, we moved them away from the donkeys because they were bullying the donkeys really bad. So we had to get those guys separated from them so that they could be like happy and it's just a lot better having them separated. So guys, we got lots and lots of more chickens we got a dozen more hens but we're actually gonna have to get rid of some of them because we got way too many we can't handle that many we, we just i don't know we, that's way too many for a household of six so we're gonna get rid of i don't know how many like eight or ten or something like that so yeah right now we have 18 hens and one rooster so yeah and this is one of the new ones. I really like, oh, where'd she go? She's ran away. Whoops. There's the rooster, he's doing really good again. So we, yeah, we never found what got into the chicken coop, but I don't know. I don't know what it was. I think it's probably a raccoon. So hopefully nothing will get in there again. I think we fixed the problem of where it got in. So we'll, just we'll just see and guys i updated my like bio or description or something whatever you want to call it i just call it description usually usually but some people actually call it a bio on youtube so you guys can go ahead and check that out i just kind of made it a little bit shorter because it was like super long um my old one was so i just kind of edited that and made it a little bit shorter and better Okay guys, so I am in my basement and I'm about to show you something that I've been wanting to do for like a super long, long, long time. It's really exciting what we're doing and I hope it'll like work out until the end. So I'll go ahead and show you now. We got an incubator and it's got 13 eggs in it. I candled them last Friday and I'm going to candle them again on this Saturday or Sunday. And then I will, I'll try to get that on video and see if I can catch that for you guys and see like how they're doing again. But yeah, so I hope that they will hatch out and then we'll have, you know, little baby chicks. I'm not going to tell you how many were good and how many were bad yet. So I'll tell you guys that whenever I get them candled. So and you see the wires right there, but there is 12 days until hatching. So that is super exciting. And 
Um, I've really always wanted to get hatch out chicks. As you know, my hen Maple was broody for a couple weeks, but then she actually got off of the eggs. And so that didn't work out too good, but we'll hopefully have some baby chicks with these guys. All right, guys, thank you for watching today's video.